Hey there, it's Lenny McGill with the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop here in San Diego. A rainy day in San Diego. And, uh, you know, just back from the SHOT Show. At the SHOT Show, a guy comes to me and says, Hey, I have a mount for Red Dot Optics that I think you're really going to like. And I said, well, show me. He said, well, come to my booth, you know, come on over. I want to show it to you. So, so I went over and saw it, and it is cool because... First of all, the Red Dot Optic thing is hot. It is the most popular thing in the shooting sports right now. Uh, people are switching to Red Dot Optics because it makes you a faster, more accurate shooter. Uh, it's easier, and um, as you get a little older, your eyes start to betray you, and you cannot see the front sight uh, and the rear sight uh, in focus as much as you used to when you're younger. That said, red dot optics are super hot, so the people are looking for solutions to mount their red dot optic. Of course, here at our shop, we have a machine shop, and we get people send us their slides, and we cut them, the slide, to the red dot optic, and we mount the red dot optic nice and low and nice and tight on the slide. It's a great option. It's probably the best option because it sits very low, and it's very ergonomic and very pointable. One thing people always get uh, concerned about when they shoot red dot optics is the sights is so high that it almost feels like they're shooting downhill because, again, the sights up here and the barrel's down here, and you, are, you do have to aim a little lower than you did with iron sights. Iron sights, you're up here. Red dot optic, you're down here a little bit. It's a little bit weird for people, but once they get used to it, I will guarantee you, you will be a faster shooter once you get used to mounting the gun and bringing it up and seeing the red dot. So everybody who is uh, one of the top shooters, all the top competitors, all use red dot optics for a reason because they are faster to shoot with. And it's actually easier because you're not having to rely on focus, just a single dot. So that said, they're super popular, and this next solution really kind of handles two things. One, it allows you to mount the red dot optic without cutting your slide. Because once you cut the slide, it's cut. And, you know, it's always going to either need a red dot optic or it's going to have a plate on top of it. So, you know, it, it's, it's a big commitment. So this particular animal is what we call a dovetail mount. But they took it one step further. Because when you use a dovetail mount in the, uh, the products we have in the past, you also lost the ability to co-witness. Right? It's co-witness is where you have front and rear sights at the same time. But this innovative product actually is a dovetail mount that incorporates a rear and front sight. Now check that out. Is that cool or what? So it's all one piece of steel. There's your rear sight been machined into it. And there's your front sight. And you'll see it's a little bit taller because it's going to allow you to co-witness, which means that you can see not only the red dot, but you can also see the front and rear sights which is actually very good because if it's a self-defense gun and the dot goes bad because it's electronic and things could happen, you still have a backup of your iron sights. Also, it's nice to have the ability to co-witness because if you set it up properly, the red dot is going to sit right on top of that front sight. So when you come up, you're seeing kind of everything. You're seeing the front and rear sight as well as the red dot. Focus on the red dot and go. If the red dot is anywhere close to that post, hey, you're, you're lined up, you're centered up, you're ready to go. So uh, it, it's a good tool and I will say this to you, um, uh, it's easy to install and I'm going to demonstrate that right now. So what I've got here is I've got uh, the, um, uh, the optic mount for a Trigicon RMR. I've got a Trigicon RMR right here. It's ready to go. So I've got the sight itself, and I've got the um, actual mount. Um, and I've got a slide. And I've got to use the silver slide so you can actually see it go on. So let me go ahead and get these screws out of here. And uh, we'll kind of get this thing rolling here. So now keep in mind that uh, the, the mount we're talking about is available for a variety of different lights, or should I say sights, red dot optics. Uh, it is, of course, the, the RMR. There are for uh, Delta Point. There are for uh, uh, Vortex Vipers and, and some of the other manufacturers. And probably more to come. There's a, uh, a specific one for the RMR. There's a universal one that fits many different guns. And there's also a specific one for the, uh, uh, the Delta Point Pro. And I've got it pre-mounted. And this is give you a, an idea. Now, the Delta Point Pro, because they actually uh, sell a rear sight uh, with their, uh, their optic, uh, this one just incorporates the front sight only. But if you look through there, that's what you're going to kind of see. See it? 
that's the idea. So you can see the, uh, the sight through the glass. And again, on the bottom, you're going to notice there's the dovetail. And now, for those of you who are thinking ahead of me, you, you, you already figured it out. So here's your, here's your slide. You take off your rear sight. You can take off your front sight as well if you like. It doesn't really matter. It's going to sit a little bit lower if it's a standard front sight. There's your mount. Okay, on the bottom is a dovetail cutout. There's your dovetail cutout as well on the slide. Obviously, it's going to fit like so. I'm going to start it by hand. Okay, now, just like any sight, you're going to tap this into place. You'll notice there are two set screws that are kind of backed off. I've got them there just for placement right now. Okay, those set screws, once I get this into place, I will tap down into the dovetail to make sure that thing is nice and tight. Okay, um, some people, you know, uh, may think you have to uh, uh, file or polish. You really should not have to do much to your dovetail. If it's cut correctly, it's going to fit. Uh, you know, do you need to put any lubricant in there? Uh, no, you probably don't. Okay. Uh, I mean, if you do, uh, it may slide around a little bit, even with the uh, things there, uh, the, uh, the set screws. So I would say let's just go ahead and put it in dry. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of effort with your punch uh, and your, your hammer. I've got the, um, uh, the nylon hammer, which I want to use because I don't want to mar that up. Don't want to use the steel end. I'm going to go ahead and tap it in. Now, uh, keep in mind, uh, there is a version of this mount with tritium inserts. They're the night sights. Okay. Um, so when you're tapping, there's a technique you want to use so you do not damage those tritium inserts. The tritium inserts are pieces of glass, little glass tubes that are embedded with uh, the tritium. And they, that's the radioactive material that glows for 10 years. So that said, the technique is kind of the open hand concept where you're holding this slide and your hand is free and we tap it. Now, what you don't want to do when you have tritium inserts is have it on the table and tap it, boom, 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 like that, because the vibration may damage those tritium inserts. So I could do that with this one because it does not have the tritium inserts. But I don't want to show you that habit because if you get one and then you do it on the table and you beat it and you break your tritium insert, you're going to be mad at me. So let me show you how I would do it. I would keep my hand free and I would just hit it. Okay? And see how kind of, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to resist. I'm letting it go. And just tapping it across. Now I tapped it too far. <laughs> And so now we just want to make sure we center it up. Oh, wow. That's pretty darn good. <laughs> Got lucky. I think I'm going to just do a little bit there. And that's it. Oh, too much. Yeah. So you'll see it. It doesn't really take a whole lot of effort to put these on there. But you just make sure you're centered up. And I can do that. And there's a couple things to, uh, you know, kind of uh, to notice here. Uh, the dovetail cutout itself is right there. Now, if you get in close, you'll see that right there. And I see that piece right there. Yeah, exactly. Let me get my little small little punch here. This piece right here is what we're talking about. And I'm going to look in, in down here in this angle here. And the lighting is not great. But um, it was just a small piece of it sticking out. So I'm looking at that, I'm saying, okay, that's, that's on the one side. Let me go to the other side and look at the other side. And there's a little bit more sticking out on the other side. So then I would think, okay, well, I'm probably, I need, I need to come over just a little bit. And so not a lot. I just want to tap it a little bit. And I want to center those up and even them up on either side. And now it looks a little bit more even. It does, it does, it does. It looks good. I can look at it from the top and same thing. I'm looking on, uh, on both sides. If you're looking at it from the rear as well, make sure everything seems to match up. And I think it looks pretty good. Let's see here. Yeah. Um, Just tapping it away, and then here you go. Look at the back side now. 
see if I can square up to the camera here and uh, just zoom in there. And I'm, I think I've got it pretty well evened up on both sides. And again, there's really no magic here. You really just have to eyeball this thing and see, well, what looks best? You, you certainly want it to be as centered up as possible. So now that I've got it centered up before I do anything, I want to go ahead and use my set screws to set it into place. And keeping in mind two things, that if I set one screw down all the way, it's going to tilt it. And it may even move it. Because as you turn the screw, the piece moves. So be very careful that you don't move it out of alignment as you set your set screws. All right, because that is possible. I think this is the right bit. Let's see here. There we go. Okay, so I'll do these by hand right now just to get them started. And I'm going to go down and just, you see, I'm, I'm not even using the tool right now. I just want to get them started down. I don't want to crank one side because it will definitely throw it off. So now that I've got it set there, I will come back and tighten it down again and tighten it down again. Now I'm going to pull the tool out and actually give it a little bit more muscle and go back and forth between the pieces here. So let me turn it around so you can see a little bit better. And here we go. Okay. Now, so what we have effectively done now, if you notice what those screws are going to do, dovetail goes in, the screws come down, and they hit the slide, and they push up on the dovetail, so they capture it in place. Uh, you could use Loctite on those, because there's going to be a lot of vibration, and there will be some heat. So I didn't put it on here, because I will take it off later, but... Um, uh, if you could, um, you know, maybe a little blue Loctite will help keep those from vibrating loose. However, once you put your red dot optic on top of that, it's going to prevent them from moving too much yeah, uh, above flush. They're sitting just below flush right now, about one thread below flush. So uh, they certainly are biting into the slide, and that's going to prevent this thing from uh, having any movement to it. Uh, you'll notice it fits nice and tight. So it's really nice. I think I'm very happy with the, with the fit of this thing, so, so I'm all, I think it's a, it's a great system, and the one thing I really like about it is the fact that it incorporates the front and rear sight, and it's so easy to put on and, and, and everything else. So now, it, it's from here, it's really easy. Here's my red dot optic. Notice the battery's already installed. This is how the RMR goes, okay, and I'm just gonna, no, you'll, you'll see the two posts on that uh, mount. Go ahead and just drop this in there, and it, just going to grab hold of that, and it is a rock-solid uh, finish. I've got two screws that go with it. I'm going to drop those guys into their respective holes, and we're just going to go ahead and tighten this stuff down, and again, being very careful uh, not to disturb the, the way it sits. So I'm going to hold it down and come in here and do just by hand. Just get it finger tight, not even that tight, just down. So I'm starting to get it set into the mount itself. Another one over here, and another one there, and here, and there. These are like quarter or eighth turns. Now I'll come with my tool. Put a little pressure on it. And again, these should be Loctited. Okay, I'm not doing it for uh, this demonstration, but I would encourage you to Loctite these into place. Now, blue Loctite's good because you can actually uh, remove that a lot easier than you can with the red Loctite. Okay, that's pretty easy, right? I mean, it really is. It's a simple little uh, process. Hammer, Allen wrench. Uh, that's about it. But now let's look and see what we've got. You're going to see uh, the rear sight, and let's see if I can get something back here. Here we go. Rear sight and front sight. 
just like that. And the camera angle is not allowing you to see as much of the rear side as you should be, but you can, I can see it. And that red dot, I don't know if you'll see the red dot or, or see uh, some of the red dot in there. Let's see if I can find the red, there's, there's that big red dot right there. Obviously the, re the red dot is not that big, but there's kind of what you're gonna see. When everything's lined up, that red dot's gonna be perfect. You can see how much movement my hand is. <laughs> So this is a cool device and it's really perfect for those of you who, you know, want to experiment with red dot optics. Uh, it, it is tight to the slide. It does definitely have a nice uh, uh, feel there. Um, you know, it, it's not as good as cutting it in the slide, I'll be honest. But if you don't want to go there, you don't want to spend the money for that or wait for it. This is something you can do at home. And it's something that you can then, hey, I'm not really into it or I don't like it that much. Take the whole thing off. And put your regular sights back on. So it's got a great option uh, available for you. Also, like I said, available in standard sights or night sights for the different red dot optics. So we've got them on our website. You know, you'll go in, you'll pick your red dot optic, you'll pick the uh, uh, standard sights or the night sights, and then basically it's in your cart and you go from there. But uh, like you said, the installation, easy, simple, uh, and this is certainly a, a nice, effective way uh, to uh, get yourself started in the uh, red dot optic world. I'm Lenny McGill. You will shoot faster, I guarantee you, if you go with red dots. This, of course, is the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop here in San Diego. If you're ever in San Diego, I do invite you to come by and see us. We've got a really cool shop. Really good people work out there with me. I'm really blessed with that. And also, uh, uh, we've got these uh, incredible uh, shoot rooms. So we don't shoot down lanes. We shoot in a room with multiple targets. And you can try out red dot optics some of our custom guns, and all the different things that we uh, show here, as well as the, uh, uh, the gun fit exercises we do and, and the uh, shooting at multiple targets and the uh, training we do. So uh, I invite you to come to San Diego uh, anytime because we're open basically all the time. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you uh, next time.